Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today's video is gonna be another shop with me video. And uh, I, I know that a lot of people come to Orlando and, and they go to the theme parks and they look to bring home cool souvenirs and things like that. And uh, I like to get out and see some of the uh, some of the shops that are in the area and some of the, the oddball, unusual shops in the area to see what kind of souvenirs and collectibles you can find outside of the theme parks. And just right down the street from the theme parks is Coliseum of Comics. And this is an awesome store. It's just minutes from the theme parks. And they have all sorts of uh, Disney and Universal and Star Wars and Marvel and Harry Potter collectibles in there from statues to figures to comic books to games, all kinds of stuff that is uh, unusual. And you cannot get any of this stuff in the theme parks. So if you're looking for something to bring home with you, this might be a good little place to stop for something unusual and different that you, you can't get in the parks. So come on and let's take a peek inside Coliseum of Comics. So Coliseum of Comics is located in Kissimmee, Florida, just minutes down the road from the major theme parks and it is an awesome store. When you walk in, you're greeted by this this life-size Hulk in battle armor. Awesome. And right across on the other side of the door is the red enraged Hulk right there, life-size. So pretty cool greeting right there at the front door. Uh, awesome, awesome giant figures of the Hulks. And then if we, uh, we kind of spin around here, you sort of get uh, an idea of the depth and size of, of this place. It's a huge store, lots of other figures you can see in there comics, toys, games, things. We're going to look a little closer at some of that. Let's start here with this gauntlet. Look at that. The Infinity Stones are back. Apparently the Avengers did not destroy them. You can get this uh, power gauntlet here. Uh, it's uh, pretty cool. Just over 100 bucks. I uh, got some Infinity Stones. It does uh, does some neat things. And, uh, and you too can be just like this guy right here. Yep. You can control the world. I guess that's what he did, or I don't know, destroyed it, something like that. Anyway, since we're talking about Avengers and Marvel collectible figures, let's look at a few more. Here is a Black Panther. This is a really neat figure. I uh, I love the, the sculpt, the pose, all of that. Really neat little Black Panther figure. Here's a uh, a bust of the Black Panther. And if we if we move down here, this is incredible, this one right here. This looks just like Apollo Creed's son. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. That is amazing. So lifelike in that sculpt. Looks just like him. So Black Panther fans, lots of stuff there. Uh, if you're an Iron Man fan, you can get like every version of Iron Man that exists. Apparently, I didn't even I didn't know there were this many Iron Men, but there are. There they are. And uh, the Iron Man's buddy. Here's some smaller versions of of Hulk. Uh, not quite as large as those that greet you when you walk in. I love him. Here's a, a Hulk smash and uh, Getting a little bit away from uh, Avengers uh, There's some X-Men down here and uh, Kind of mixed in with Ant-Man and I'm not a huge Ant-Man fan, but that's a neat figure I, I like that uh, and then I'm distracted by Disney. Um, here's some pop 65th anniversary Disneyland figures of the castle and Mickey and if we move down here, there's Mr. Toad, and then they've got a Matterhorn, uh, and, and a Matterhorn ride with Donald Duck on it, a little bobsled there. I'm going down a little bit further, and 65th anniversary Disneyland Peter Pan with Peter Pan's Flight right there. Awesome, awesome pops. And if you're into these little vinyl figures, there's all kinds of Disney vinyl figures here from Frozen, Little Mermaid, Soul, um, you name it, Toy Story, Aladdin, uh, even that um, that new that new show that's coming on, um, Raya, right there. It's got some some pops. Uh, so so lots of vinyl pop figures and holy Batman utility belt, Batman. Sorry, I'm easily distracted again. So if you're a Universal fan and you like Harry Potter, I love this little Voldemort. Look at him. How cute is he? I, I may have to have him. And then this also. I love this really cartoony version of uh, Harry and Hagrid there. 
on the motorcycle. Those are my favorite Harry Potter figures in the entire store. And it's not just all toys. There are books and graphic novels and regular novels and young adult literature, things like that. Um, rows and rows of books. And, of course, it's a comic book store, so there are rows and rows of comic books as well. Just look at that. Pretty much any comic you can think of and want just lines the walls. As well as these boxes here. Um, lots and lots of, of comics. Um, and hey, did I mention Star Wars? Because I'm easily distracted, especially when it comes to Star Wars. Let's look at some Star Wars. I, I saw these figures. These are, are kind of cool. A uh, little alternate Stormtrooper version. There's old Luke. And um, I'm, I'm digging this Darth. I love that Darth Vader. He's saying, pull my finger, Luke. Not I am your father. It's... That's the pull my finger Darth Vader figure, and if we move down here, there is a uh, little black R2 unit and a Han Solo. I think this is probably the new Han Solo. I don't like him, uh, but there's the Carbonite Han Solo also. I do like that. I like the Carbonite. Um, and then a little further down here is the Whoa! I've lost my balance Yoda figure, along with a regular R2 and a BB-8 and the pregnant Princess Leia. I, I must have missed that episode. I, I don't remember her pregnancy, but, but there she is. And uh, Bounty Hunter fans, anyone? Anyone? I'd love him. And, and I especially love the base. The base is my favorite part with the Stormtrooper helmet <laughs> laying right there. Um, this is probably my favorite Leia figure or, or statue uh, there with R2. I love the, uh, the stylized version of it. And on down here, we're not going to talk about Hayden, we can, we'll just move on quickly from him. And uh, there's the Emperor. Kind of weird paint job on that Emperor. Uh, but this guy, though, the Samurai Stormtrooper. Love him. Love him. I've got a t-shirt with that on it, actually. I may have to get the figure. And for uh, classic Ben Kenobi fans, look at that sculpt. It's not exactly, it doesn't look exactly like him, but it's a wonderful sculpt. Very realistic. I love that. And the clothing, um, super cool figure don't have the kind of money it costs to get that figure but awesome uh and more pops here's some uh, mandalorian pops with the child and uh and there's the mandalorian there's uh, uh little guard calrissian a whole bunch of little things and i hadn't seen this one this is uh, the mandalorian and the baby on a bantha pretty cool and i did not know that pop made these either these are giant enamel pins and they have all kinds of enamel pins for marvel characters and star wars and things like that now if you've wanted to see the sideshow version of grogu in person there he is i don't like all the pink in his face but he's a life-size version very cute and just underneath him is an awesome doc strange look at that and i love the face on this Doctor Strange, look at that. So again, it, it's not um, it, it's not Cumberbatch, but uh, but a great sculpt and a great figure. Um, if you're into games, there's a whole gaming section. There's some Disney games there. You see some Nightmare Before Christmas Monopoly, some villainous games. Um, there are board games and role playing games, uh, all all types of games. There's just rows and rows of games. And apparently they have gaming tournaments and stuff there as well, because um, in the back of the store, there you go. Gaming tables with uh, little gaming sets and stuff on it. Um, really well painted gaming sets at that. So pretty cool uh, pretty cool little setup up there for, for gamers if you like to game, and, and I don't know what these games are. But uh, also there are um, paints and primers and things like that so you can make your models and your, your game sets and your little uh, game figures, the little metallic figures that people play games with. A uh, whole area there for, uh, for that, paints and things like that. And, well, Deadpool says we've got to look at some more Marvel collectibles. Like this one right here. I'm a Ghost Rider fan, so this one caught my attention. Really cool Ghost Rider sc sculpt body-wise. I don't care for the, for the face, but I, I love the body. I love the chains, the, the flaming motorcycle. Um, really neat sculpt. And for Vision fans, people watching uh, WandaVision, here is Vision. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So there's a lot more in this store inside uh, Coliseum of Comics. Uh, 
I can't show you everything. It would take hours. But uh, you may definitely want to want to check it out. It's an awesome, awesome store in Kissimmee. See, that is an awesome store. Coliseum of Comics is right there in Kissimmee. Just, uh, just a few minutes from the theme parks. You can stop in there, look at all that kind of stuff. And yeah, a lot of that kind of stuff you can find online. But here you can see it in person and see what it actually looks like. And some of it, as you can see, is very, very cool. There's a lot more in there that I didn't show in the video. But stop in there if you're looking for some cool collectibles around the Disney, Star Wars, Harry Potter type themed things. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, shop with me video. And uh, if you did, just click on that like button to like the video and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and more videos will pop up in your feed when I upload them, which will be about every three or four days. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you next time.